The Gateway 2000 Computer Company at North Sioux City has been awarded a quarter of a million dollar loan from the state of South Dakota. Gateway 2000 makes personal computers and sells them by direct mail. The North Sioux City Company has 350 employees and Iowa may have to pay more for nursing home care. Under some proposed changes, nursing home administrators say if residents cannot afford to pay, they may be turned away. New Center 4's Colette O'Mara reports administrators from Siouxland Nursing Homes gathered to protest the changes. About 50 administrators from nursing homes around northwest Iowa came armed with petitions and cost figures to help demonstrate their opposition to the proposed changes. The changes cover some of the transportation and medical care received by Title 19, a program which helps low-income residents pay for health care. Sandy Tielber operates a nursing home in Sioux Rapids. She says if the changes are adopted, residents who can't afford to pay for care on their own may be turned away. I could foresee that if we do not take them, they may have to go further away from their homes, the community where they've grown up, you know, have lived their lives in. And um, I don't think that's fair to those people. Under the proposed changes, nursing homes would be responsible for some transportation and medical costs, including some use of oxygen. Administrators say those may sound slight, but the cost of this nursing home could amount to $74,000 more a year. We're here to take care of these people, but I cannot take care of them if I cannot be paid for it. That money's got to come from someplace. Officials at the State Department of Human Services disagree and say the reimbursements allotted should cover most costs of resident care. Officials say at the most, nursing homes will have an increase of a few cents a day. In Sioux City, Colette O'Mara, New Center 4. Similar public hearings on the proposed Medicaid changes were held around the state. A final decision on the changes will not be made for at least another month. A suspect has been jailed without bond following his third arrest for attacking a Vermilion, South Dakota woman. Authorities identified the suspect as 36-year-old David Lee Lycan of Alcester. Lycan has been charged with first-degree rape, aggravated assault, kidnapping, and first-degree burglary. Authorities say this is the third time Lycan has been arrested and attacking for attacking and making nuisance phone calls to that Vermilion woman. Democratic gubernatorial candidate Don Avenson in Sioux City today, speaking about creating a world-class education system. Avenson, as we said, a candidate for governor, spoke at a news conference at Bryant Elementary School in Sioux City. Says although Iowa continues to place at the top of the list as far as college entrance exams are concerned, the state of Iowa must have better educated students. The candidate's world-class program, as he calls it, includes raising teacher salaries and cutting university and community college tuitions back down to the national average. Establish a, a program to make sure that at-risk kids are taken care of, that they have pre-kindergarten programs, that they don't come to school hungry, that they don't come to school battered and bruised. Avenson's world-class program also includes limiting class sizes and providing equal education for all Iowa students. On that subject, summer vacation came to an end for Sioux City school students. Classes officially get underway at Sioux City's public schools today, although other students out in the area were going to school all week. These first graders at Bryant grade school were coloring pictures, listening to stories on the first day of class, but the classes ended early because of the hot weather. All Sioux City community elementary and middle schools dismissed at 1.30 today. School officials say the classes will be let out early again tomorrow. Classes tomorrow will be dismissed at 1 o'clock for Sioux City, community, elementary, and middle schools. We'll get the Labor Day weekend forecast from Kathy Egan when we come back, and we'll see a local ambulance service that has transported its 1,000.